Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, There was a time where it looked like it had all but come crashing down for Serena and Cordell, whose coupling survived one of the most dramatic moments of the season. Although they've been one of the most stable pairs on Peacock's highly successful sixth season of Love Island USA, not even they were able to cruise unscathed by temptation at Casa Amor, where footage of Cordell kissing and dry humping a new potential shocked the world and damn nearly spelled an end to the couple's streamy summer fling. Oh, she was livid. The mosquitoes had been biting that girl all night. She said, speak up, speak, speak up, up speak Cordell. Up, yeah, speak up. And the thing about that is that it came to stays after Serena pulled that stunt on the murder on the dance floor episode, blindsiding Cordell and leaving him anxiously waiting on the dance floor while she delivered one of the coldest stunts in the season, happily stepping away to see if she can continue to explore her options. See, now that hurt that hurt i wouldn't be able to cope with all the bread crumbing and mixed signals and lukewarm treatment but that's just love island and that's why it was so entertaining and so riveting what a season but after cordell had stepped out and explored the streets in casa amor he stepped back up returned to form and fought for his girl back at the villa that's where we saw that yes it's real and authentic between these two it was a season of spectacular highs and low blows devastating betrayals and a whole lot of assholery we are getting into the season's most unforgettable moments but hey serena hey cordell you're up the world is getting ready for a massive wave of collective withdrawals because the sixth season of love island usa drew to a sweet close on sunday and the much loved couple serena page and cordell beckham walked away with a grand prize of one hundred thousand dollars after trouncing competing couples in the vote now, I wouldn't have minded if the coins went to Janae and Kenny because they deserved two. But understandably and deservedly, Serena and Cordell were crowned America's favorite couple from the dating show's most iconic season. And on Sunday, after Rob, Cassie, Kayla and Aaron were dumped from the island, Serena and Cordell beat Leah and Miguel, who finished at number two, Janae and Kenny at number three, and Nicole and Kendall, who landed in the fourth spot. Such a sweet story because Serena and Cradle's journey was certainly no walk in the park. Right out the gate, the pair connected and made their effortless chemistry so visible for everyone to see. It was actually quite wild how easily they started to flow in their conversations, finding out on day one that they had a ton of things in common. And for me, it was clear from early on that they would have to explore their spark. They had to explore this. Even though they were starting out as good friends, which is a good place to start and Serena kept saying that I want us to start out as friends, explore that, be comfortable with each other before I can let you in. There was a lot of yin and yang energy flowing from the first moment they met. However, Serena would open up about needing more time to let down her guard and fully commit herself to Cordell, who was stable in his pursuit of Serena at that time. To be honest, quiet as it's kept, there was a time I wasn't entirely sure if Serena was that into Cordell. You know, I don't know, there was a little bit of bread crumbing there towards the beginning. Although, yes, it absolutely was never intended and Serena was upfront about that. She seemed to flip-flop a little bit for me around the beginning, giving him the impression that she was also feeling him in that way one minute and then totally switching up the next. That said, again, Serena was always transparent about the fact that she needed more time to fully invest in their bond and that she needed to see what was out there in the villa first before settling down. And that's how you do it. It is, after all, a dating show. I'm just so happy that black love is being celebrated this way and I hope that these two will be the next power couple to emerge from these dating shows. The winning pair was selected by America's Votes and their own shared chemistry quotient with Serena and Cradell, Leah and Miguel, Janae and Kenny, as well as Nicole and Cantle. Now, it isn't surprising that these had become some of their favorite couples in the villa. Everyone has been rooting for Serena and Cordell from the start, while Kenny came and did good by Janae along the way. Miguel, hey Miguel, moved around a little bit before landing with Leah, while Kendall and Nicole found a spot in each other's arms after playing in each other's faces a couple of times. Now, after all the ups and downs, the explosive Casa Amor episode, the bread crumbing and all of that, did you see it for Serena and Cradle? Leave a comment down below, like and share this video and subscribe to the channel.
Now, this season of Love Island USA has been named the best one in the show's history thus far. The hype was so real and I had to check in to see if it was worth the absolute takeover on TikTok and Twitter. And let me tell you, the season was absolutely for the books. And now that Love Island has emerged from flying under the radar and is now officially the most watched reality show in America, topping the chart with 1.1 billion minutes watched, we know this curse of couplings will never be forgotten. And it's not surprising because cast and production came through this season, giving us an addictive season with a bunch of new faves, perfect villains, crybabies, comic relief, and eventually power couples. And now that we have our winners, the time is good as ever to look back at the most iconic moments in the wild journey to the top four couples that were left standing. During Casa Amor in season 6 of Love Island USA, the drama was at an all-time high as the relationships were tested like never before. For the first few days that Janae and Kenny were building something before he went on and started exploring the streets in Casa Amor, the pair had been building a strong connection. Everyone was so happy that Janae, who's absolutely been one of the main girls this season, had finally found a serious prospect because she had been sifting through the dirt to find the gold. And when that man came back walking hand in hand with Catherine, my jaw dropped. And so did Janae's, who was so tired of the bullshit at this point, so much so that she wanted to leave the show. And I got it, the dating experiment looks like it can get quite emotionally taxing, especially having gone through Connor's entire tornado. That man wasted our time so bad. And so, when Kenny found himself attracted to one of the girls in Casa Amor, Janae was gutted. She felt deeply betrayed and questioned the authenticity of what they had been building in the days leading up to Casa Amor, especially because she had stayed behind and stuck to her guns about the potential of their budding relationship. But as the explosive episodes continued, we all got to understand clearly that the only reason Kenny made a move was because he simply wasn't sure whether Janae was into him enough to wait for him and not pick anyone else back at the villa. See, she cried, he cried, we cried, and I shipped. One moment, Cordell is the most solid, disciplined, and secure man in the villa. And for the longest time, he was also very clear about having found and settled for a connection with Serena. He also respected the fact that Serena wanted to take her time before fully opening up and wanted to do that while having the space to explore potential connections in the villa. Because that's literally the point of the whole dating experiment. He never really had a wandering eye and even when Nicole sort of came into the picture, he remained solid. He really respected her even though many times I was like, Sarah, go, come on, do you want this man or not? The chemistry you guys have is literally insane. It's actually wild to think you two have just met. But for the longest time, Cordell never folded. Not even when Nicole came into the picture and not even when he was being advised by some of the guys to let Serena go and remember that shit left him hanging on a couple of occasions. Which is true and kind of fair. But he went with his intuition and still stayed true to his heart. I liked it. But then Casa Amor came and a different side of Cordell shook Serena in her studio. Cordell, while loyal to Serena, faced some temptation and flirted with some of the new girls. Honestly, had not seen that coming. Chaotic mess. Cordell and Dea shared a passionate kiss during the time in Casa Amor. The first kiss was spontaneous and part of a game and also fueled by the excitement and newness of the connection while the second was more intense and reflected their growing attraction. Like this was going down, especially when before going, Cordell had spoken to Aaron about how he was not going to do anything stupid out of respect for Serena. Back at the villa, Serena was watching in horror as her men was dry humping at an exotic island while mosquitoes were dealing with her outside the villa, where she'd been waiting patiently and trustingly for Cordell to come back so they can seal the deal. She had remained focused and avoiding getting too close to the new guys. There was an insane, crazy, chaotic time for Cordell and Serena, Janae and Kenny, as well as Kayla and Aaron. Even though it was never not a crazy time for Kayla and Aaron, to be honest. What did you guys think of this season? I'm actually going to do a thing about the most savage moments from the whole season up next. Leave a comment down below, like and share this video and remember to subscribe to the channel. And once more, congratulations to Serena and Cordell. Thank you for watching until the end. Until next time, bye.